Okay, so in this video, I'll be talking about how to make Nepenthes picture. It's not really a problem with little plants. Well, mainly it's a problem with bigger plants. Bigger plants? Well, I have reasonable success with these plants while I'm making them picture. I took my advice from Brad. Brad Greenhouse, Brad's Greenhouse, that's the YouTube channel, and his name is Brad Tyler. Um, he, he says that um, to, make the, to make the plant picture more, you have to just sort of spray the tendrils and try not to get the crowns wet of the newly des developing pictures. As you can tell, I'm not using this spray bottle in my most of my videos because this is this spray bottle is a little bit more gentle. You can like nice mist. And if you you think you want your person got the humidity, the problem is lighting. As you can tell, I have three compact fluorescent on in on the grow chamber. So all of the plants, Drosera and the some of my Venus fly traps are in the washroom because I was just filming them. So I'll talk about some of the species. This was Nepenthes ventrata or alata. This plant was a mystery plant when it got it. Um, it didn't. It just said tropical feature plant. It didn't say is Latin name or scientific name. This one is ventricosa, sanguinea, and maxima wavy wavy leaves, which is this plant have like those wavy leaves wavy leaves. Well, once they go more mature, you can see the wavy leaf texture. But right now, they go really red really easily. Okay. That's about it. And sort of a tour of all four of my Nepenthes. I have, I have more. Well, these are sort of my main plants. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.